Hello John Logie Baird Primary School, hi to all the teachers and the pupils. My name's Hannah and I'm an artist and I'm going to be visiting your school next week. So I thought I would introduce myself and introduce the activity that we're going to be doing. Now I mentioned I'm an artist but I'm not a painter and I make work like you might not have really seen before. So I thought I would start off by showing you some photos. Let's take a look. So for a lot of my work, I collaborate with other artists. And some of my work, I set it on fire. A lot of my work is best seen in darkness. A lot of my work is really quite big. Sometimes it looks good in the daylight. And then sometimes I light it up with ultraviolet light. Now for a lot of my work, I need to use a lot of maths. Here's some calculations that I made trying to work out how much materials I would need for a certain piece. And here it is in the daytime. And here's a photo taken by a drone looking down on it at night. Now for the activity we're going to do together, it's a photography technique called cyanotype. This technique is used by artists. Here's some of my experiments. But it's also a technique that used to be used by engineers and also architects to make their plans and to make copies to give to the rest of the building team. So to make our cyanotypes, we're going to need a couple of different chemicals here. And when we work together, we're going to be making a chemical reaction using the power of the sun in order to make our images. So I've got two different chemicals here which react to the ultraviolet light in the sun. We've got ferric ammonium citrate and potassium ferricyanide. So that's for the scientists out there because this technique is very much art meets science. It's a combination of the two. In this jar here, I've got our two light reactive chemicals mixed together. And I'm gonna start painting that onto some paper, which I'll bring to your school next week. I've got a big wide soft brush here, and I'm going to use it to coat this piece of paper with our cyanotype solution. There we go, you can see it's come out a pale greenish kind of colour. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that in my dark room to dry because we don't want it to get too much sunlight from the windows onto it. And you'll find more out about our cyanotype technique next week when I come to the school. All right, really looking forward to it. Cheerio now!